new bale of hay and the yeas know their routine. I don't have to do anything. They're all going out. That will be spread along the wall and a new bale will come in. I better close this gate so they don't come back in while putting the bale in. Go on, Ebony. Good girls. You stay out there in this paddock and be done in a minute. And you can go back into a fresh bale of hay and fresh straw bedding. Come on. Come on. Okay, everybody in now with the new bale of hay. And the extra stuff is all on the edges or right here. So none of it goes to waste because it ends up being composted and feeding the soil when it goes back out in the fields later on after it's composted. Look at that. Bold pup. The reason the lamb has red all over its leg is because when I was doing iodine on its uh, umbilical cord, it kicked and the jar in my hand went all over the place, including on his white stocking. So because she only has one lamb, I've turned her out here so she can have some grass. She's annoyed with a certain person. And Maya's behind, but She's got her lamp and she's got this lovely walled paddock to um, have her lamb in. And over there, there's a lean-to shed for shelter. She's a little bit nervous because uh, the dogs are all on the other side of the gate. But she has this lovely walled paddock now for her and the lamb to graze in or for her to graze in and for her lamb. The only visitors she'll have in the night are foxes, but there's only her one lamb, so she'll look after it really well. She's heading straight for the shed. She probably thinks I've got um, nuts in there or something. <laughs> Yeah, she's gone straight into the shed. <laughs> she knows that that's a protective location. There's water in there. Maybe I'll just go and uh, lock up her, um, lock her in the pen because it's getting late in the day. And she'll feel secure in there, because I think that's why she headed straight there, to feel secure. See, she has a rack of hay. And I'll just close this gate over. There we go. And she's secured in there, lots of hay. And I'll feed her some nuts later. And I have to finish filling up the bucket of water that's there. But she knew the she knew the job. So I'll leave her now. So she's got her few sheep nuts and rolled barley. I've finished filling her water. So they'll be cozy in here for the rain that's coming tonight. And then I'll let them out into this paddock tomorrow morning weather permitting. If it's yucky, I'll keep them in here. This way they can start living their life outside. No longer inside. He's a very big, strong lamb. And 
new world for him. I better go before the rain really starts happening. <laughs>